Hillary Clinton admits in a private speech refugees can't possibly be vetted. And this is a reference to Jordan's Syrian refugee crisis here. Let me give you the exact quote. They have hundreds of thousands of refugees and they can't possibly vet all those refugees. So they don't know if, you know, jihadis are coming in along with legitimate refugees. Sebastian Gork is with us, author of Defeating Jihad and a frequent guest on this program. What is going on here? You say one thing in private and your policy in public is totally different. It's quite stunning, Stuart. We, we now have confirmation of what everybody knew, that the, the political uh, elite says one thing for our consumption and the exact opposite behind closed doors. And, and the list is incredible. Uh, in front of Deutsche Bank, she said that fracking is good. Uh, in public, she says fracking is bad. During the debate, she's in favor of no-fly zones in Syria. Behind closed doors to Goldman Sachs, she says no, uh, no-fly zones don't work. So the, the fact that she wants to increase by 500 percent the refugee flow into America when she says behind closed doors that these people cannot be vetted to separate jihadis from true refugees tells you everything you need to know about the threat to American security, Stuart. She will change America forever without telling us what she's about to do. That's my opinion. Okay, I've got to bring this one to our attention. And before we roll this videotape, I want to warn all of our viewers, this is truly graphic video, and it's about to go on your screen. I don't like this stuff, believe me, but I want to show it for impact. This is a young Syrian child, blooded and crying for her father inside a hospital after her town was bombed. Uh, uh, it's, the video is actually a good deal worse than that, so let's not see it. Sebastian, that's another example of a chim chilling image from the catastrophe in Syria. I want to know, who's to blame for Aleppo? Well, we should be the nation that leads others to stop humanitarian tragedy, tragedies like this. Uh, this isn't about some kind of neoconservative conspiracy to invade other countries and turn them into mirror images of America. It's about stopping these horrific, almost genocidal attacks. And uh, when you have a president, a White House, and a Secretary Clinton who say we are going to lead from behind, this is what you get. When you have a White House that says we're going to draw a line in the stand, we're going to have red line after red line, and when those lines are crossed by the Assad regime, America does nothing, this is the type of picture, this is the footage that we will see as a result. And remember, this is just one child out of millions. Yeah, I remember the little boy in Aleppo that made headlines worldwide. Sebastian, thank you very much for joining us again. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. All right, everyone.